Merry Christmas, everybody, and happy holidays. Hope everybody is having a great season. And um, welcome to this uh, not Inkscape update video, this special video that I put together to uh, decide upon who should have the Wacom folio that I've been asking people to e email me about. Thank you to everybody who has emailed me. Um, just a reminder, the Wacom folio is a paper device uh, that uses a ink pen to record the strokes into the computer. Um, I had to make a decision on the entrance based upon uh, who I felt would be able to utilize the device the best. So it's very, it's going to be very subjective. Uh, this is also because it's a second-hand device. It's not a new thing. I'm just giving it to a person who can make use of it. And of, also kind of restricted by YouTube's uh, policies. You can't run competitions. And this isn't one. Um, Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about the people that entered and tell you about some of the things that they talked about being their favorite in Inkscape because I think it's a very interesting uh, discussion to see the different people, uh, different pe people's perspectives because Inkscape is used by a lot of different in individuals for a lot of different reasons. It's something that we love to see in the Inkscape pro project is the fact that as a tool, it is, it's just got a lot of different areas that it's used in. Okay, so I'm going to be looking down at my notes here, so I apologize if I do this a lot. Um, first up is Ray. He's a first-time Ink Inkscape user. Um, he likes the price, and he likes that it's easy to use even if you don't follow tutorials. Uh, second is uh, Tatiana. Likes the text tool, especially for editing PDF files, and um, has moved into doing more uh, vector editing from basically having to use it to do P PDF work, um, which is great because you know, um, using Inkscape for simple stuff and then moving into more complicated things is how you get the super power of being able to edit things. Um, Julian, he's a 17 year old from Germany working for eSports. Um, he's used Inkscape since the start and likes the trace bit and bitmap, the color controls and the blend modes. Um, he's looking forward to the multi-page support. Um, I, I, I do like being buttered up on the uh, congratulated on the features that I have made myself. Uh, next up we have Alex. He really loves work working with the nodes and thinks that Inkscape is the best Im implementation of node editing compared with Illustrator and Coral Draw. He also included a, a delicious pun uh, about noble paths, which I very much appreciate. Uh, dad, dad jokes are appreciated. Um, so yeah, Alex is right in that I've heard this before, that Inkscape's node implementation is considered to be one of the best. Um, I know there are probably people who are used to the way Illustrator works, but from people who come at it cleanly, they miss Inkscape's node editing when they move to other tools. Uh, next up is uh, Rashid, or Rashid from Bangladeshi. Um, he loves to learn um, by watching logos by Nick tutorials, which are very good tutorials. Um, and has moved away from using Illustrator. He makes logos, typography, and business cards locally. So he's got himself a little biz business there, which is great, great to hear. Um, and he likes the, uh, the power stroke. Um, it's a tool that allows him to make a uh, Bangla typography uh, with all the thin and thickness. Um, the uh, power stroke is, is very much like the calligraphy stroke, but uh, it allows you to edit it uh, after the fact. Next up, we have uh, Zachariah, is a Linux user whose favorite part is the uh, the magic of light path effects. All of them, I guess. Uh, the use of Inkscape for the daily work and has even reviewed Inkscape in Arabic. Um, this is actually great to see because uh, Inkscape, one of Inkscape's missions is to be ac as accessible as possible. And that includes people who don't speak in English. Most of the developers for Inkscape are European or American, and they uh, speak English. So all of the development is handled in English. Um, but Inkscape wants to be accessible to people who don't know English at all. And uh, it's thanks to people who contribute things like the t tutorials and things in all the languages that you know Inkscape can be more accessible than it otherwise would, would be. Uh, next up, we have uh, Godfrey from Kent, Kenya. He's been in using Inkscape for a while, and he loves the Bezier curve uh, for drawing ob objects and the text tool for designing po posters. Uh, I, I love drawing po posters in Inks Inkscape, actually. 
Uh, next, we have a sort of anonymous entrant from a user called H. Uh, they've been using Inkscape for over a decade. Um, their kids have since started to use it for schoolwork, and it's helped them un understand the importance of free, free and open source soft software. Uh, I think this is actually a very important thing for Inkscape's mission, is that um, Inkscape isn't a product. Uh, it's a way of developing soft, soft software, right? Free soft software as a, as a philosophy and a politics is important in and of itself. And so Inkscape communicating that important message that you should have control over your uh, computer, and especially you should have control over your work tools. You know, if you're using des a design piece of software for, for work, uh, then it's really important that you have control and ownership over those tools. Now, Inkscape isn't uh, quite ready for all workflows. Um, and it's got a lot of development to go, um, but hopefully we'll be able to get it to the point where, you know, everybody will be able to use Inkscape for the, the kinds of design work workflows that they currently use Illustrator or Affinity Designer for. And they'll be able to experience that fruit freedom, hopefully. Um, their favorite part of Inkscape is snapping and aligning tools, and um, which are going to be improved in 1.2, well, I hope. Um, but they also find a lot of Inkscape to be useful. Uh, next up, we have Samir. He's a student from Algeria. They use Inkscape e every day to do everything from PDF editing to designing and creating posters. And they even use Inkscape from, from the command line to do for format conversions. Um, they like the Boolean operations and the path effects and the trace bitmap. Uh, but their favorite tool is the Bezier tool, which is just so intuitive. Uh, here, we're, we're, we're hearing it again. Um, they also help me by posting my videos to Reddit, which I really appreciate. And finally, we have the um, the person who I've decided should get this device, which is Roland. Um, they say, without a doubt, the calligraphic stroke um, is the thing that they love because it, it takes him back to his roots as an art, art artist and as an in individual. They love the precision draw drawing. And um, one of the things that helped me make this decision is the fact that they, they used to be a paper only art artist. Um, so like their, their work and their art is uh, paper based. And I think that's probably going to be the kind of per person who will be able to make the best use of this device. Um, so Roland, uh, please do email me again. Send me your address. I, I want to get this off to you. It'll probably arrive in the new year. And um, yeah, thank you for everybody who sent an, in, in a request. Um, it's been really great to see all of these uh, ways in which people use Inkscape and seeing the things that they actually love in Inkscape. And um, we'll be back to doing a regular Inkscape development updates next week. Um, and I hope everybody is having a warm and cozy and uh, relaxing holiday se season. Uh, Merry Christmas, everybody.